As the holidays get closer and closer, we're all doing our last little bits of shopping for the ones that we love. In today's video, I'm sharing my top 10 favorite last minute gift ideas for the DIYer, new homeowner, Mr. Fix-It handy gal in your life looking for some inspiration and some tips and tricks to make their projects easier, smoother, and more fun this year. Hi. I'm Lindsay, a former teacher DIY renovating our 71-year-old ranch-style home in Seattle, one new skill and project at a time. I make videos about interior design so we can learn and style our homes together. After tackling some of the biggest renovation projects I've ever done in our home this year, I am so thrilled to have some really great recommendations for you on the best possible gifts for the DIYer new homeowner in your life. As I've been hauling things in and out of the house to do different projects, I have been using just a about anything to bring things back and forth from an extra large big blue Ikea bag, which honestly isn't terrible if you're hauling a bunch of tools. Different baskets that I've thrifted or just had over the years to organize different things have now become sort of tool baskets. Reusable shopping bags, it's honestly a cluster. And the thing that I'm using least right now, my toolbox. Toolboxes are so essential. I don't know why I've been avoiding reorganizing mine for so long. A basic toolbox is a fantastic gift. I'll link the one that I'm using down below, but honestly, you could find them at most hardware stores. You can even find some really cute antique ones if you're looking for something small and a little bit more stylish. Big plastic toolboxes honestly are the best. They are super cost effective and often have a little tray that pulls out, little compartments for small things, and you can even go a little above and beyond with this gift by buying a basic set of hand tools. Things like a solid hammer, a set of wrenches, screwdrivers, both flatheads and Phillips heads in different sizes. We're always losing these things as DIYers, taking them back and forth. Maybe we never got a complete set. We have some hand-me-downs. It's so easy to put together. You could pop down to your local hardware store, put a bow on it, and you're ready to go to the holiday party. While we're on the topic of organizing, I'm absolutely in love with my small parts organizer. This thing is amazing. I actually bought it for my classroom to store all the little bits and bobs we need as teachers, office supplies, that kind of thing. But I ended up bringing it home and using it in the wood shop, it's phenomenal. Anytime I do a project, if I have extra screws or buy something specific and have extras, I always just put it in one of the little drawers. I try to organize it as I go, but that leads me to my next fantastic gift idea, a label maker. As DIYers, we have so many DIY supplies, so many little things that we need to keep track of, categories of items, painting items, electrical items, knobs and hardware, all the accessories that go with our tools, not to mention all the electronic items, plugins, cords, chargers. There's a million different things to keep track of. Having a system where you can label everything and find it quickly is going to make all the difference and save your DIYer or you so much time. A label maker can really do so much work for you in any space. I've used it on everything from the boxes that I use to organize office supplies in the closet here in the office to all of the storage bins outside. Right now I'm in the process of planning the labels, making sure I have all the things categorized and organized and purging some old things. So I'm using a post-it note system as temporary labeling. That way I can sort everything. And then once everything's finished, I'm going to go back in with my little label maker and make it look professional. Plus the labels are waterproof. They lay really nice and flat. They last forever. And when you want to change them out, they easily peel off and they don't leave any residue at all. I've tried a lot of different label makers. This one is by far my favorite. And this particular one I've had for over a decade and it still works awesome. I'll save you the trouble. This is the one linked below. <laughs> Don't forget to add some label tape too. The worst thing ever is to go to make the labels and there's no tape. From a DIYer perspective, especially when you're new to the game, having the few tools that make projects more fun and easy make all the difference. I've said this forever when it comes to painting supplies and my new one for woodworking is 90 degree angle clamps. I got two different sets. One's kind of a smaller little clippy set made of plastic. The other is large and in charge, metal, heavy duty with giant screwing elements 
elements, fantastic for building something big. Honestly, I like having both sets because both sets were really helpful when building something big. You never know when you're gonna need a clamp. Any type of clamp set is a fantastic gift to give anyone getting into woodworking or DIY home renovation. There's always times when you need to quickly have another set of hands and that's exactly what a clamp can do for you. Don't forget the extension cords. As DIYers, we tend to get really excited about buying tools and different project materials, but we completely forget sometimes the logistics, like how far away is that outlet from the new miter saw that I bought? Having access to a heavy duty and long extension cord in your workspace can make all the difference. Not to mention just be safer in general than stretching cords and trying to make it work. I loved it as a classroom teacher and I'm loving it in my home wood shop. A little rolling cart is everything. I had two in the classroom. I use them for different things. They're really easy to move around because obviously they're on casters so you can quickly move them out of the way or close to you when you need supplies right next to you. In the wood shop it's amazing especially when I need to quickly clear the space. I can have it right by my side at my little desk workspace when I'm working there but I can quickly push everything out of the way, roll that thing aside and have the whole floor area available if I need to lay something out that's larger than my table surface. I even found these little wooden tops that fit perfectly on the top and can make it almost like a little side table on wheels that you can use for literally anything. I love having my second one on the side where I have my little painting easel studio space starting to be set up. That's a big goal for the new year is getting into that weekly daily painting practice again and I can't wait to bring you guys on that journey but that's a fantastic gift for that too because it's a nice contained but accessible and also movable way to organize all my supplies, paints, brushes, chemicals, varnishes, everything. My first big DIY project in this house was refinishing and installing closet doors in my closet in our primary bedroom. I quickly learned that sanding was going to be a huge part of pretty much any project I was going to do in this house. That was such a huge learning curve for me. I know it sounds weird, but when you're new to DIYing, stuff like sanding you just think it will take like a couple minutes and it'll be so easy it gets really challenging especially if you're just trying to do it with those little sanding blocks purchasing my orbital sander has been one of the best things ever it has made everything so much simpler I've learned a lot about buying different grits of sandpaper for different purposes especially when it comes to woodworking refinishing things that I'm constantly doing installing salvage doors for example that I spent a lot of time on this year having that orbital sander makes Made all the difference. But my favorite tool, I, I this is a hard one. It's like choosing between your best friends, but I honestly feel like the multi-tool was the secret MVP of the year. This tool did everything. It made installing the salvage doors in this house a dream. It was a lot simpler to go in with the multi-tool and just chisel out what I needed for the mortise lock sets to adjust where the hinge placement was in the existing door frame. A multi -tool tool can do a multitude of things. It is such a handy, handy thing to have. I also got it with the bit set and it does all these things that I haven't even tried yet. It's got sander attachments, different sizes for saws, and I can't wait to see how it's going to aid us in all of our projects in the new year. While tackling one of my biggest projects of the year in our guest room, I was horrified when my brad nailer just went up and died on me. Having a quality brad nailer, one that's really reactive and quick and really accurate is huge especially when you're doing huge projects like what I did in the guest room space with the beadboard and chair rail molding. Travis ran down, picked up a new one and it was a little bit of a challenge to decide which one and I'm absolutely in love with the one that we picked. If you're putting in new baseboards, crown molding, doing really building projects of any kind like cabinets or built-ins, a brad nailer is essential. It functions so much better than my old one. This one is so far my absolute favorite. And last but not least, probably the thing that takes up the most space in my workshop, but the thing that I use so, so often I'm about to use now that we've finally cleared out, finally cleared out the workshop, is the miter saw. Now that we've laid the floor in our bathroom, I'm so excited to move on to the next step and put in the new baseboards. The miter saw is the tool that makes those baseboards so easy. All I do is measure the length of the wall, give or take a couple millimeters just for a little wiggle room for space. With that miter saw, I'm able to perfectly cut 
it at a 90 degree, 45 degree angle every single time and get it right. There's different ways to use a miter saw, but it does need some sort of surface to lay on. You can bolt it to a work table, but I really love the miter saw table that I got from the same brand. It folds down flat so I can put it away if I need to. It's easy to throw in the truck and travel with if we need to help somebody else with a project. For daily use in the wood shop, it's super convenient. I can easily drag and slide it out of the way and it still keeps my table surfaces clear for other parts of the project. We did our 10 gift ideas, but I've got a little bonus for you. Safety inspired stocking stuffers. Now hear me out. A lot of DIYers get so excited and impatient to get started and sometimes maybe forget to take the proper safety precautions. Help your DIYer out by giving some of these as the perfect little stocking stuffer gifts. A fantastic solid pair of work gloves, whether they're all leather or a mix of leather and synthetic earplugs or noise canceling headphones are a really good reminder. A lot of us are around loud equipment all the time and completely forgetting the impact it might be having on our hearing. Little lead testing kit. It comes in this cute little vial. It is so, so life changing. It could save your loved one's life if they're renovating an older home, especially if it was built before 1970. That'll fit in the stocking so perfectly. And don't forget about a little first aid kit. I actually have two handy in my rolling cart in my workspace. They're at fingertips distance and if anything happens, especially when I'm home alone, I know at least I could do a little quick triage, you know, take care of myself. <laughs> eye protection like glasses, goggles, and don't forget a respirator. If you have somebody using a lot of stripping chemicals and other products and maybe they just don't get the message yet on how toxic that can be, this can be a fantastic thing to jump in and help them out with so they can keep going safely. Now that I finally tackled cleaning up this mess, I am finally ready to get back in the wood shop for real and get back to work. I can't wait to cut the baseboards, buy the wall paint, find the perfect wall cover and get back to all the other projects to finish up our bathroom renovation. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, tap that bell icon so you don't miss a single Vlogmas episode. We'll be back with more bathroom renovations, a little bit more holiday content. We're traveling soon to see my family, so you know we'll be doing a little vintage shopping, lots of fun things in store, and I can't wait to share it with you. Don't go yet. Check out step one of our bathroom makeover. I am so beyond excited about this DIY floor renovation. I cannot believe the price and the results and you won't either. And I'll see you soon with the next video. Happy decorating!